What's going on everybody? My name is Mike. This is Wall Street Traders where we break down hot training stocks put you at advantage on the market. Looking into Walt Disney or ticker symbol DIS. I have my lines and graphs already set you guys. So let's go ahead and dive in. So the pre-market we're at 182.25. We closed yesterday at 182.79. So we're down about two or almost three percent for the morning. The market will be opening here in about 30 minutes. So I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible so we can get this out to you guys. All right. So this top line up here represents our major resistance line. You guys, we look left. So we have these two candlesticks that ultimately came up, hit this area and got rejected. We look back a little bit further. We have this other candlestick that came up and got rejected. So there's three. There's the three candlesticks that we needed to test this highest and lowest areas. Uh, to further predict our analysis so that's our resistance we look down here's our support you guys you can see before uh before this was support it was working as resistance down here we can see that came up got rejected came up gapped up after hitting that resistance pulled back down so what's once it's resistance now works as support you can see that it bounced off this level and ultimately hit our resistance up here we have these two candlesticks bouncing off this level back up into our resistance which pushed us back down into our support again and then after that we have a uh, a higher low and then a lower low so uh this red line represented the downtrend that we were in we kind of broke it we were uh it was a good sign over here on the 19th and then we ultimately gapped back down into our major support level on the 20th which was yesterday you guys let me actually pull this down just a little bit there we go all right so um as of right now, this could be a good buy opportunity since we know that this level has been tested multiple times and uh, we know that this area is has candlesticks reacting to it. We You would want to set your stop loss maybe below the $180 level. So if we do break below this uh, major support line that you will be able to protect your assets and your account because money management is the name of this game, you guys. You want to protect your portfolio at all costs. You don't want to end up having this drop below that and then you end up back holding to the next level of support, which... Uh, I'm not going to find right now because we're focused on this channel as of right here. So if you were to get in right now as a swing trade or a uh, longer term trade, your first target would be back up here at the 188, you guys. And then ultimately after that, it would be back up here at the $200 level. Um, as for a day trader or a scalper, you can still apply this, have the same entry, but your target and your stop loss might be a little bit tighter and a little bit smaller. Uh, you would just break down on the time, uh, on the intervals. So on the daily, you would break down to the one hour, 30 minute, five minute, and then the one minute to ultimately find your entry entries and your target so when you're getting into any stock you guys you need a trading plan that being your target your entry and then where you're going to put your stop loss um, or a mental stop loss like i said if you're swing trading so at least you have an idea of when you're going to get out and uh, how much you are risking so like i said um, this could be a good buy opportunity since we are back at, de at this level the only problem is that we are still in this downtrend um, and buyers are no longer stepping up the, the only thing I do like is that we are on this major support line. So we have some cushion or in a possibility to uh, create a reversal in this area. So like I said, your entry could be uh, as of like at 182, have your stop loss under this candlestick wick right here. That'd be at the 180, you guys. So if it does drop below this, that... Um, you have some uh, uh at least protection so and the reason why we want to put it under this wick right here is if we have the same wick that breaks below this you don't want to get automatically tagged out and then it continue its trend higher because that does happen so you want to give yourself at least some wiggle room you guys um and then ultimately and then from there you guys like i said uh, your first target would be back up here at the 189 or the 190 area as your first target and then your second target would be back up here uh, so i like to make these videos as fast as possible and efficient as possible so i hope you guys actually learned something or uh if this helps you uh, if it did please hit that like and subscribe button if there's any stocks that you want me to break down please put them in the comment box below and i'll have them uh, give a look and hopefully i can get to it in the following morning uh, i usually get about 10 or 20 stocks that people want me to break down i can only get to so many uh, throughout the day uh, but I really hope this helped you guys and I hope you guys have a beautiful day and happy trading